This is Gaston Castellanos with the Channel 3 News Update. Because I'm just mad. I've been there 50 years and I can't see changing around. Longtime members of the Crystal Cathedral congregation are emotional Thursday night after Judge Robert Kwan approved the Catholic Diocese of Orange bid to buy the world famous Crystal Cathedral Church in Garden Grove. Chapman University was the other bidder in a battle that saw both institutions up the ante. The $57.5 million bid by the diocese ultimately won out. What we did was to come up with a mixed-use plan where we would have the Crystal Cathedral for performing arts events and uh, the Crystal Cathedral Ministries would have it on Sundays. And evidently, from what I'm hearing, the Crystal Cathed Cathedral Ministries Board, which met last night, felt that uh, they were uncomfortable with that kind of mixed use. Church founder Robert Schuler and his wife Arvella decided to support the bid from the diocese because the property would be used exclusively for religious purposes. However, the decision to go with the diocese leaves the Protestant members of the Crystal Cathedral without a home. I just feel that um, the board uh, that just voted yesterday on this um, I don't think took the congregation fully into consideration when they made their decision. Mike Nason produced the Hour of Power television program for 25 years. His association with the Schulers goes back almost four decades. He spoke up in court in favor of the Chapman bid. I think what I'm feeling right now is the fact that the ministry is over. It's just now a matter of time uh, before it winds down. Revelations in court that the church administration, led by the Schuler family, had used endowment funds and other accounts to pay ongoing salaries and expenses angered church members. And it's all gone. There's no money in those endowment funds. I mean, this, this board, this family took it away. There's nothing in there. That's robbery, isn't it? The bid from the diocese includes an offer to sell property currently occupied by St. Callista's Church on Lewis Street, to the Crystal Cathedral Ministries at 90% of market rate. You can't produce the hour of power from another facility. Uh, the Crystal Cathedral is the face of the cathedral. Bishop Todd Brown promised to care for the Protestant Memorial Garden Cemetery on the Crystal Cathedral property. For the mega church in Garden Grove, the bankruptcy and sale of the iconic Crystal Cathedral ends an era for televangelism in California. This is what the bishop said when asked if he knew of another major Protestant facility that had become Catholic. No, I don't know, but during the Reformation, a lot of huge Catholic cathedrals became Protestant cathedrals. This is Gaston Castellanos with the Channel 3 News Update.